3. Operation 5 steps of using the resharpener GH-313 Step 1. Set up the end mill to the ER collet holder. Determine diameter and flute of your end mill and then select the proper collet and collet holder. Insert collet into collet holder. Insert end mill into collet holder and let it jut out 35 mm. Then tighten nut slightly but free to turn. Adjust the flute with its edge over center point and have it to be parallel with the benchmark notch. Complete advanced operating resharpener with upper steps. Step 2. Align end mill. Set alignment knob to the proper number according to the diameter of the end mill. E.g. end mill diameter 8 mm, set the scale to 8. Pointing holder's benchmark notch at triangle mark of alignment base and insert it to the base. Screw the ER nut clockwise until it touches border. Press end mill of alignment base and rotate the flute with edge over center point clockwise until it touches the alignment block. Press end mill of alignment base and tighten the ER nut until the end mill is supported but free to turn. Pull out the holder counterclockwise. Confirm the flute is parallel with the notch. Then tighten up the holder. If it's not parallel, please repeat the alignment steps. Step 3. Primary edge resharpening. Switch on machine. Pointing ER holder at the notch of edge resharpening port 1. Insert the holder into the port 1 with a slightly push motion for grinding. Take out the holder with the end mill and rotate it clockwise to change to another flute. Repeat the above steps until the resharpening for all flutes edges is complete. If the relief needs to be adjusted, please use provided 4mm hex wrench to loosen the screws in the sharpening port 1. Rotate clockwise towards symbol plus to increase. Rotate counterclockwise towards symbol minus to decrease. Tighten after relief setting. Step 4. Secondary clearance angle sharpening. Before operate the clearance angle sharpening, be sure adjust the plate at 4T of clearance angle sharpening port 2. 4-1. Secondary clearance angle sharpening for four flute. Pointing ER holder at screw for clearance angle sharpening port 2. Insert it to the port with a slightly push motion to sharpen until grinding noise disappear. Take out the holder with end mill and change to another flute. Repeat the above steps until the sharpening for all flutes angle is complete. If you need to sharpen the secondary clearance angle completely, loosen the screws in the secondary clearance angle port. The rotate ranges for two flute and three flute are different. 4-2 Secondary clearance angle sharpening for three flute. Insert the ER holder into the port with a slightly push motion and the rotation ER holder causes the plate to adjust to the symbol of 3T. Back and forth revolve this and rotate the benchmark notch side only. 4-3 Secondary clearance angle sharpening for two flute. Insert ER holder into the port with a slightly push motion and the rotation ER holder causes the plate to adjust to the symbol 2T. Back and forth revolve this. To sum up, the grinding should start from the 4T pointed at the benchmark notch. If you use a special 2T wheel, insert ER holder into port 2 with a slightly push motion. Rotate plate is unnecessary. Step 5. End gash sharpening. Pointing ER holder at screw and keyways of end gash sharpening port 3. Insert it to the port with a slightly push motion. 
For precise and average grinding, hold tight the upper part of the ER holder with one hand and move the lower part at both sides with another hand to sharpen until grinding noise disappear. Take out the holder with end mill and change to another flute. Repeat the above steps until the sharpening for all flutes and gashes is complete. Take out the end mill from the holder and inspect it. 